I remember one time I was at an atheist convention. I don't remember which one. And I get word that there's a asshole Christian on the street outside the convention hotel on a bullhorn pestering all the atheists that they come in and, and go out. And, and that makes me hungry. So I go downstairs, I step outside and I don't see him right away. He was around the corner at a side entrance to the hotel where all the smokers were congregating, but I did hear him right away because his assholery is amplified. So I sneak up on him. And that's easy to do to a guy who's screaming into a fucking bullhorn. I walk up behind him. I get it like nine inches from his ear and I wait for him to take a breath. And as soon as he does, I scream at the top of my lungs. I reject the unfounded assertions you're making and would like to see the evidentiary basis for your conclusions. Dude jumps to a slap sticky in degree. And he was so startled that he missed the fact that I followed that up by saying in, in just like a regular normal human tone, See, loud isn't conducive to a discussion at all. But he missed that, and he wasn't going to hear it at all, even if I repeated it, because he'd learned his lesson about taking breaths, right? So the second he'd recovered enough to verify he hadn't pissed himself, he just screamed into his megaphone nonstop through some weird master flautist circular breathing technique or some shit. And, of course, the first thing he started screaming about was chastising me for yelling at him. Like, motherfucker seriously complained about my volume when I was literally trying to shout over him. And I think about that exchange every time I hear somebody talk about how they wish that atheists would be quieter about their beliefs. It's like, motherfuckers, y'all are the ones we're trying to shout down. You're in control of the volume here, and you always have been. It would be literally impossible for us to be louder about this shit than you, since our whole fucking thing is inherently responsive. We can't complain about the thing you're doing until you start doing it. Hell, you can't even describe our position without referencing yours, right? We're atheists. We're also A, a bunch of other unfounded bullshitists too, but we don't need a special word for it because the background noise from people who believe in astrology and Bigfoot and flat earth isn't deafening the way it is with religion. I mean, I don't fucking believe that ferrets have accountants. I don't believe that with every bit as much fervor and passion as I don't believe in God. You never hear me talk about it though because I don't fucking have to. Right. But if people started making laws based on the idea that ferrets had accountants and started adjusting educational standards and trying to take away people's rights in the name of ferret accountants, suddenly those same motherfuckers would be sick of hearing me talk about how ferrets don't have accountants all the goddamn time. But of course, it's more than that, isn't it? People like to cloak their discomfort as mere annoyance. We talk about it too much. We're too rude. We're too arrogant. We're too loud. They act as though they're merely irritated by the repetition, you know, the way that uh, one might be irritated by a friend that just won't shut up about Star Wars or whatever, right? But the reality is much harsher because the thing we're talking about is the thing that they're contributing to. Whether they're tithing Christians who directly fund the child rape cabals or timid agnostics who simply acquiesce to them, they're carrying a certain amount of culpability for the chief obstacle to human progress. And that's the kind of thing you don't have to remind people of very often for them to get sick of hearing it. So look, religious people, if you want us to stop saying duck season, all you have to do is stop saying rabbit season. After all, it is duck season in this analogy. And to all the non-believers who criticize the vocal approach or who refuse to admit what a huge societal cancer religion really represents, just know that I'm talking as loud as I am because I have to make up for your silence. And I promise to back down to precisely the degree that you promise to step up.